Jeff, for two hamlets in Sullivan County last night, it was much more than a severe thunderstorm. If it felt and acted like a tornado in Roscoe and Calicoon Center, that's because it was. And just a short while ago, as Jeff explained, the National Weather Service concluded the winds peaked at 115 miles per hour. These poor goats were told the tornado huffed and puffed until it blew their barn away. They were uh, pretty much terrified and running around. I don't know what happened to their goat house. Once the storm left town and daylight appeared, 33-year-old Clay Banks took his drone up to assess the damage. You can see how the twister flicked over this grove of mature trees like snuffing out birthday candles. It was definitely the craziest weather I've seen in probably like 15 years. Of a whole yard of trees just ripped up from the ground. Um, split in half, laying on the power lines. The tornado took aim at Apple Pond Farm here in Calicoon Center, Sullivan County, destroying barns and property. It also sliced the roof off this auto body shop in Roscoe. Thankfully, no lives were lost in these hamlets, no injuries reported. Hail stretched from South Jersey all the way up to Sullivan County on Saturday. Residents in New York reporting ping pong sized ice balls taking free shots at cars. But I talked to a bunch of friends today who were in the middle of the storm. Uh, a few friends' cars got pretty much totaled because of all the hail damage. <laughs> Utility crews, meanwhile, working through the weekend to repair down lines as quickly and safely as possible. Scary, destructive. I hope it never happens again. Well, you can understand his sentiment never again. During the height of the storm, Sullivan County officials urged folks to stay off the roads in Roscoe and Calicoon Center as trees and power lines were dropping without warning. Now comes the hefty cleanup after an EF2 tornado. Mm.